and we went up there and we all had trainers on like adidas sambas with no grip on the bottom yeah you know, a little bit of the tread it was rock hard and everyone was skating around and passing it and then slipping and there was three thousand people there fa cup third round and it was horrific Uh, steering towards a bit of non-league football now. Uh, you spoke about how you've played a bit of Sunday league before. Have you played any other football, a bit like at Harpenden's level? Or um, only no, because well, as soon as I left, uh, well, I played. I left school and went to college. So I went to Macclesfield College. I played for the uh, kind of the college team for about a year, which was hilarious. Yeah, um, we could never actually get a pitch that wasn't either waterlogged or. Um, or rutted because of frost or so every game seemed to get called literally seemed to get called off yeah. and i think i think that's what the one of the biggest things one of the biggest changes about and, and you, you know please correct me if i'm wrong but um it'd be interesting to know what the non-league because i don't watch a lot of non-league football right now because i'm so busy with the premier league and then you know it's it's very difficult to fit all the football in yeah having said that I do go or did go to watch um, Brentford, who obviously are not non-league, but um, over the last three or four years, I've been kind of a, my good friend of mine's a season ticket holder at Brentford. So if yeah. I've got a weekend off, I will tend to go and watch, watch them if they're at home. So I, I enjoyed a different side of football and yeah. from the Premier League and, the, and the, even to the Championship, the difference is so different. And I'm not just talking about the quality and you can go oh the quality the excitement levels and the commitment and the um and the back to back to not back to basics but a little bit more like football i grew up with where the referees of the whistles in the pocket it's not it's not in the mouth all the time and they let a load of things go in the, the championship and I, and I guess obviously as you go further down the pyramid um you know you get to you get to sample football how what I grew up with, you know, and so be interesting to know. I know the the way the pitches are now that the uh, the difference in the the level of pitches at all levels I think has improved. I mean, yeah. a lot of stuff at non league and and Sunday league when I was growing up, and and playing in the lower leagues as well. When I was playing at Chester and we were playing away at Grimsby in the cup, and we uh, I mean, it, that was either Chester or Stoke. I remember playing, and it was it was like it is now, but minus ten for about three weeks. And with FA Cup coming round, and I was saying to my to the lads, I said, "Well, the game will be off. Absolutely, it's Grimsby. It's freezing. The pitches, all the pitches were frozen. Loads of games are being called off." And uh, I think it was Stoke. And Mick Mills went, "No, we're going up there. We're definitely going to play it." And I was like, "How can we? It's like literally." It's like that. It was like rock hard. Yeah. Um, and we went up there and we all had trainers on, like Adidas Sambas with no grip on the bottom. Yeah. You know, a little bit of the tread. It was rock hard and everyone was skating around and passing it and then slipping. And there was 3,000 people there, FA Cup, third round. And it was horrific. And I was like, this would never... That doesn't happen uh, very often now. I mean, a lot of the pitches... Um, certainly at championship level and people going up and down from the Premier League got under soil heating they've got the, and the quality of the pitches are a lot better and what what are they like down in non-league football now they well still um, <laughs> <laughs> well to, to be fair it, well, the, obviously when it comes to uh, like this snow is not going to help at all you know it, when it comes to this sort of season it's really tough and I know Roman the chairman at Harper and he works with the other volunteers at Tyler State to you know get games yeah. underway when we can obviously before the yeah. lockdown we played uh, Leighton Town um, before the second national lockdown um, I mean it was an amazing game Harper and won one nil in like the 60th minute it was we were down to 10 men one of those type of games it was just amazing typical Tuesday night one and um the whole day because we had some a load of rain on the pitch that uh, in the build up to it Roman had been working tirelessly to try and get it you know nicely done so it it's playable when it passed the pitch inspection and I don't think the pitch had probably <laughs> been as bad till after that game you know there there was a, there was a knee side you can just see the mud you know engraved into the pitch but um 
on this day it can be good, but depending on the weather, I think it's all uh, very weather dependent what, nowadays. What I'm what I'm really looking forward to is because I, I work for ITV and do the England commentaries, and I also they also next year have got the FA Cup back. So yeah. next season we go back into to covering the FA Cup. I think we're sharing it with the BBC. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure, but the the FA Cup's definitely coming back. So and I've been watching the coverage, obviously of BT doing the FA Cup, and there's that I cannot get away from the romance of that that FA Cup because it's still to me. Yes, it's been diluted a little bit, and teams leave. Uh, certain players out and try and rest players and managers are using it as more of a, a rest period at times some are not some are so but it's still got the magic of the FA Cup and so I'm going to be fortunate enough next season to be broadcasting from I think from round one so we will get to go to a lot of non-league grounds um, and that's what I'm really excited about I think this season already we've seen some great performances um from some of the non-league teams that have, and their pitches, their pitches look great, you know, compared to what I used to see, look amazing considering. So, yeah. um, but they've still got that something about that romance of, of non-league football playing against the big boys. Is That yeah. will never go away. That will always be there. Yeah, well, we saw it this season, didn't we? Spurs travel to, uh, what is it, FC Marine, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. And a fun fact for you, if Harpenden won all their games, they would have played Spurs at Rockhampton Park. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, we that, would have. So, uh, you know, my media <laughs> team up against Spurs. Who's going to win? I think Harpenden. Anyway. <laughs>